Hey planner friends, it's Kara from Kara Jo Plans. Today I have a little different video for you. Today we are going to be touring my office, seeing where I keep everything, what kind of accessories I have, what kind of tools I use, and I hope you like the tour. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications when my new videos pop up. Enjoy the tour. <music> Hey guys, so this is my sunroom. I used to be a LuLaRoe consultant and I have one rack of clothing left. So I'm trying to get rid of that still. And then this corner still has my kids' toys. I'm moving them back into the other half of it. So first up, I have this little tray table set up and this is our charging station. My kids put their Apple um, iPads, their Amazon, Kindle, Fire, whatever tablets there, and their switch remotes can charge here. And I have a power strip in the back and everything gets charged on there. All the electronics get put away in one spot every night. And then next I have this awesome ladder shelf bookcase. And on the top shelf, I have some of my favorite books as well as on the next shelf there are more books there's my hourglasses and some really cool fake succulents i got at ikea then my uh silhouette cameo is on the next shelf and then on this shelf here i keep the michael's photo box a couple binders that i do my budget by paycheck in my kids um Financial Peace Jr. is there, my books from A Bowl of Lemons, my budget notebook, my storage box, some journals and petites are there as well. And then on the bottom shelf, I have my printer and I just set my laminator on top of it to keep it out of the way. So that is the first spot of my office. Next up we have my desk. So on my desk I have this little tin house over here is a Scentsy warmer that lights up. I have my clear acrylic savings cash jar that you've seen in some of my videos for budgeting. I have one of the Erin Condren uh, desk organizers with my rulers, my current week, and my next week's planner kits, and my little sticky note tabs, as well as a timer. Then I have one of the Erin Condren pencil cups, my giant mouse and I keep my planner over here on the left hand side so I can keep it open and reference it throughout the day. My seasonal surprise box little vase and then I love this light. It folds up and it's LED. I got it off Amazon a long long time ago but it's got a USB port on the side of it as well so you can charge your phone with it. Then I have this little desk riser that has my Dymo printer on and a scale that's covered by that workbook. I also have my cleaning checklist from the seasonal surprise box here and a little daily to-do pad. I don't remember where it came from. It says bloomplanners.com. I don't know where I got it. But then underneath it has a little drawer and I have one of my boxes in here with some of my kids stuff and my meal planning. And this is just an Ikea desk, and I've got the two Alex's on either side with the drawers. Next up over here is my sticker collection. I have different binders for my kits, my boxes, my Chrissy Ann celebrations, samplers, and then all of my Planner Kate stickers. I have Cindy Guntert Baldo's lettering book in there. I have an Erin Condren sticker book and two other smaller sticker books for some of the shops that make the smaller, tinier sheets as well. We have uh, my kids artwork on the wall. And then over here I have the other Erin Condren pencil cup with all of my dual tip markers and my Tombows that I don't know how to use yet. Next up is my Ikea Rascog cart. And I've got two of the Erin Condren uh, magazine holders there and another one. I kept all of my notebooks that I just got in the warehouse hall in here. And there was room in the back because I wanted to bring them to the front so they looked pretty. So I put my vinyl in the back. 
And it, this cart also has my stuff that I do my nails with, with my gel moment. I have extra paper. And then these two scrap boxes on the floor are for my kids' schoolwork, which obviously they're not bringing home any schoolwork right now. But what I do is we have a bin in the kitchen and every week I go through it and I choose what I'm going to save from that week, whether it's a good score on a test or a nice art project. And I put it in those bins. And then at the end of the year, I take pictures of everything in the bin and save it to my Evernote which is an online data system, and it saves it as like a PDF photo file. That way I have a copy of all of their hard work, but I don't have to have the paper clutter in my house. And I do that with my bills and everything too. I scan those in, and I'll show you what I use with that as well. So then also on this shelf, I have a cookbook, my Bible, and then the bottom shelf has my paper and stuff in it. Now these drawers here, I used a label printer, so this one has all my Happy Planner stickers in it and some Erin Condren sticky tabs and the stickers out of the back of the planner I pulled out. This drawer has my washi collection in it, which is mostly all Simply Gilded and some other stuff that I've collected throughout. And I promise you, I did not buy all of this from Simply Gilded. There was somebody de-stashing it for an amazing price. So that's how I got that collection started. This next drawer has um, sticker paper in it. And the next drawer has my two little containers in. One has stamps. The other one has scissors and some other tools in it. Then in here, I keep my hole punch. My, um, oh goodness, what was this thing called? That divides the plastic and the photo albums. Fuse tool. The fuse tool. And then my Doxy scanner. So this is the scanner I use for Evernote. You just slide your documents through. You don't have to be connected to anything. It does have a storage card. And then you can sync that to your Evernote and drag and drop it into whatever files you want. And if you guys are interested, I'll show you how I use Evernote in another video. The next one, I have some mailing supplies, mailing envelopes left over from LuLaRoe. A mo more paper, more paper. Um, this one has half sheet paper in it. I was using an A5 for a while and then it has more of the sheet protectors for the albums I keep my stickers in. And the next one has photo paper in it. And then underneath I keep my slicer from stamping up. And this is like the Fiskars ones that makes the straight cut and everything. So, and then in these drawers, they're a total disaster. But I keep my camera in one. Post-it notes galore everywhere. My label makers in here. And then the other thing I use this photo box for. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. Um, it's been online. But I took each of our electrical cords and put them in here. So my sprocket and its charging cord are in one of these. I have an extra iPhone charger in here. I have a microphone. It's just a great way to keep electric cords and um, know what they're for. So these are for the Nintendo 2D, 3DSs, whatever. Um, any kind of random micro USBs. So it's just a way to keep your little cords and that organized for your electronics so you know what's what. Because I end up with a big pile of cords and have no idea what anything is. And I just keep this right next to my feet so that it's easily accessible if I want to print for my sprocket and stuff. That bin right there is just a footrest. So that is my office, guys. Oh, and there's some artwork up here too for my kids. More artwork hanging. That's a decorated pine cone. And my you got this picture. So this is kind of where I hang out and do my videos from. And I have the screen pulled back with a microphone stand. That microphone stand is what I use to hold my camera overhead when I'm filming my videos. But if you can see, I get a nice little view of our trampoline out the window while I'm working. So my kids can be playing outside and I can watch them. So if you like this video, be sure to click the like, comment below on what your favorite part of my organizing was, or if you have any tips or ideas for what um, I should do with a certain area.
And if you want any information in anything that I showed you in the video, let me know and I will add a link to it. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.